right, so we back here with Alex. This is what, the second, third interview we've done. How you been doing since last time? We, last time we did an interview was maybe a couple months ago. Yeah, it's same old, same old. Uh, got cold out. And so wet. Now, yeah, cold and wet. So now it's a stay dry mission. Yeah. So what do you do a day like today? It's not raining too hard, but it's raining enough to get your clothes wet. Right, it's misting. Yeah, exactly. So probably stay under the transportation building as long as possible until we get kicked out. Then maneuver into another place. Yeah. Just try to stay dry and then try to stay high to stay to stay warm. Then the SEPTA police, they'll come and tell you guys to, yeah. to move, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, headaches. SEPTA police, yeah. But not really. They, they just doing their job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But absolutely. We got to stay dry, though. They know that, too, though. And if we keep it clean, they give us breaks. They're nice they needles. Yeah, of course. Baggies, people getting high. Then they have no choice but to shut this shit yeah. down. And, and that's a lot more understandable, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because like you said, they're just doing their job. Yeah, Sometimes just, we get upset at motherfuckers for doing their job. Just like when we live over there, where all them stores is closed yeah. down. If we keep that clean, like as you see, if you go over there now, it's just me yeah. and my man. Because we got regulated. Because if we let everybody over there, we're not going to be able to have nowhere to stay. Yeah, they'll end up kicking so we'll everybody out. Clean, and the cops don't really bother us over there. Okay. You let this fucking train, but... So, basically, where you're sleeping at is is back there where you where I usually see yeah, you at. Yeah, across from Walgreens. Yep. All right. And I got a hold of my brother not too long ago. He's in Maine. Okay. He's doing like a discipleship program. So he got in my ear a little bit. So I'm thinking about it's about that time. It's so, getting close. It's getting close. And then I talk to your boy a lot. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's time to start. You know. It's time for a change. I'm ready. I know, and, and there's people out there praying for me. I feel it. Absolutely. Listen. So, like, if, if you was to go and look at the comments of your videos, of course, you're going to have a couple people that's assholes. Right. You know, um, but the majority of the people are respectful, you know, uh, be like, I'm praying for them. You know what I mean? And it's dope. That's what's it's, it's dope. And uh, listen, brother. It'll be so much nicer. It's gonna be hell for a couple weeks going through that withdrawal and being sick and shit. But it's so much better than fucking being out here on these streets, man. Absolutely. So much better. Getting yeah, chills thinking about it. Man, <laughs> listen, I dropped my homie off. You know Milo? Yeah. Dropped him off at rehab last night. Oh man. I've been waiting for that for a while. You know, and me and Milo, we know each other for, for years. And dropped him off last night at the net. And hopefully it works for him, yeah. you know. And uh, yeah, that's my next stop. Definitely that. Gotta go. Yeah, gotta go. it's not gotta easy go. though. I it's know that. It's not easy. It's not I gonna be that. easy, but it's a step I gotta but take. But it's worth it. Yeah, it's I worth promise it. you that. Yeah. Have you? Uh, how have things been out here lately? Well, a few weeks ago, I got into a couple scuffles mm -hmm. over bullshit, nothing. Yeah. Petty dollars. But other than that, you know, I stayed to myself. So. Yeah. I got a couple people I mess with out here. No friends. <laughs> yeah. Acquaintances. Yep. I got you. I consider you a friend. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely, absolutely brother. So. Yeah. But other than that, just, you know, just survival of the fittest, man. It's strong survival out here. That's it. Yeah. You gotta be strong. Have you seen a, seen a spike in violence or anything out here? Not really. Lately? Violence is the same thing. I've seen a spike in new faces. Yeah. A lot of new faces. A lot of new faces. Young, old. Middle Extra. age, like middle age group, like thirties. Okay. Yeah. Young, younger though, younger though. Yeah. They're getting younger. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I see a lot, a whole lot of young faces out here. Yeah. Sometimes you question even if they're old enough to even be outside. Exactly, and it's sad. You know, it, it's sad seeing seeing that. I don't, I don't like to see nobody out here. I would love to come through Kensington and not see anybody getting high. Right. But, now they build them security shacks for the security. Yep. I like them just to build shacks for all of us. Yeah. Man. And even though that's, I, I believe that's an unrealistic expectation, right, yeah. but, you know, I, I would love that. Um, Only we could do it, though. Yeah, I, I would definitely love that. I I, uh, I don't know if I asked you this last time. you have any favorite childhood memories? Baseball. Baseball? Uh, yeah. Playing? Yeah, playing baseball. Okay. Yeah. My dad going to the games. Going to watch my brother play baseball. Yeah. Nice. And uh, 
Do you have any questions for me? No, you're doing a great job. I know that. I hear nothing but good things about you. And I mean, if I hear anything that's not, I always always got your back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, because there's a lot of people out here, like, they got me on um, Faces of Kensington shooting up or something like that. On Kensington Beach? Yeah. And, my, and the cook, then I go over here and get my coffee. I'm in there and she's mouthing to me, like, I see you. Yeah. And I'm like, you see me what? And she was like, shooting up. Yeah. And I'm like, how? and she didn't know how, how can they do something like that? Yeah. But... Of course, there's people like that that like yeah. to see stuff like that. So absolutely, but they were thinking it was you at first. I'm yeah. like, nah. Well, first. that's a lot of times. That's what they ask. They'd be like, yo, are you Kensington Beach? Nah, and I'll be like, no, nah, not at that's, all. That's 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 not me. I don't wanna, uh, you know, I'm not into to that type of stuff. All right, brother. Got a couple of girls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. Where at? They coming next. Okay. Let me finish up this with him and then... You finishing up this one? Yep. I just seen you drive by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just went and turned around. Yeah. I, I told you I was coming. I seen you. Know what I mean? All so, right, brother. Let me I'm finish up with him real quick. Wait. I'm going to tell him uh, we'll order it in then. All right. Let me do it. Thank you. There's nothing in there. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I, I, I thank you, brother. And there, a lot of people will ask me that. They'd be like, oh, are you Kensington Beach? And... I don't knock anybody for what they do, right. but I think he'd be doing some nut shit when he'd be seeing people nodding out, putting music behind it. Right, that's crazy. Yeah. Real dumb shit, you know what I mean? Editing the video so it looks all... People fucked up down here. People, right. are, people are literally sick down here, you know what I mean? And that's what a lot of people don't realize. And, uh, you know. and it seems like it's getting worse, too. It's like you've got to certain few people that want to help. Yeah. But then sometimes I wake up and I feel like half of the people in Kessler probably tell their kids or just fuck the junkies. Listen, like, listen. You know what I'm saying? I I'm, feel I'm, like I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's crazy you say that because I had a conversation. When we're young and we walk down the street with our children or, or parents do that, they be like, you better stay out of trouble or you're going to end up like them. You see that? That's the way you're going to end up. Yeah, they did that when we used to live under the bridge. Exactly. And yeah. by doing that, we're sort of programming our children to hate junkies, hate homeless people, hate people that are getting high with addiction. You know what I'm saying? And and I say those different names, junkie and homeless and, and addiction, just that's labels that people put right. on us. But at the end of the day, we're human just like them. We're just sinning in a different way, yeah. you know? And and people do that subconsciously. They'll be like, see, you're gonna end up like them. You're gonna end up like them. And that teaches, when the kids get older, they start hating people like that. You know, and yeah, they start looking a, down. And, and, and that's a shame, though, because there's a lot of, you can see it. Oh, my fucking I mean, right. they're like six, seven yes. years old, and they're the hate. Yep. Like, there's hate. So disrespectful. Very. And, I mean, yes. my kid, if I, I don't have any, but if I ever had kids, they'd never be like Listen, that. Listen, that's, that's why I bring my children down here and have my children interact with everybody, all right. different types of, my children interact with people that got plenty of money and people that have absolutely nothing. And I want them to treat everybody the same. To right. me, that's imperative. Absolutely. It's so important, because if not... The next generation is just going to be worse off than this one. Absolutely. You know, I thank you for your time, brother. Um, anytime, anytime. And I got some stuff in the back. If you want some, All some right. stuff, we grab some.